The next plugin you want to download is the Social Warfare plugin. So this plugin basically is going to insert social media sharing buttons onto your blog posts and your web pages so that visitors, as they get done scrolling your page, they'll see the different share buttons and that'll help your content get spread out into social media world, which will then send more traffic back to your website. And in addition, people coming to your website can see how many times a page or a blog post has been shared and that helps give it some credibility that it's a helpful article when they see that it's you know been shared 10, 20, 30 times. That's gonna give it more credibility than a website they go to that has hardly any social media shares. And you know what I'm talking about because I'm sure you've been to websites before where you look at the social media icons on the side and you see that it says, you know, it's been shared 15,000 times and you're like, whoa, this site must be, you know, popular, it must be authoritative, it must be the go-to resource if it has that many shares. So that's one of the important parts of having social media buttons is not only to get more traffic to your website, but also to build your credibility so that people stopping by for the first time see that your site's an authoritative site because those blog posts got shared a ton of times. So click the install button and then go ahead and click the activate button as always and we're going to show you how to customize the settings for the social warfare plugin. Okay, so inside your settings for the social warfare plugin, the first thing you're going to notice is it's got all the different social media accounts down here under inactive. So you're going to need to choose the ones you want to activate and then you can move them around in certain order. So if I want to choose Facebook first, then maybe Twitter next, Pinterest is definitely a must, and then we can go with LinkedIn, and then it's your call if you wanna use Google Plus and StumbleUpon. StumbleUpon is like a bookmarking site where you can you know, submit the URL to your blog post on StumbleUpon, and then a bunch of people using that site will see it come up in their feed. Uh, Google Plus, some people use that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with these four, and then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna see share counts you want to be on, total counts on, so that each individual platform that it gets shared to, it'll show how many times it's been shared. So Facebook five times, Twitter five times, maybe Pinterest 10 times, and then it'll show the total count, you know, 20 times it's been shared across those three platforms. All right, so the position of the share buttons, this is where you're gonna customize the different settings of where you want the share buttons to be seen. So we've got static buttons, which will be either at the top or bottom of a page, and then floating buttons if activated. So as they're scrolling down the page, then the buttons will be floating. So to show you an example, out here on my website, you can see as I scroll the page that down here we've got all the four different buttons floating at the bottom here. So each one, you know, they could get clicked on to share and it's going to show total shares over here to the right. So as they're scrolling, it's going to be down there at the bottom of the screen. And when they get down to the bottom, it shows you where it is static on the page is at the bottom of the page. So coming back into here, these have to do with the Aveda theme, so I'm going to leave them alone. We want to come down here to these four settings. So pages, I put below the content. Blog posts, you can go ahead and maybe put both above and below so that when somebody first gets to your blog post, it'll show the buttons at the top and at the bottom in a static position. But in this case, I think I'm just going to leave it for below. Home page, I went ahead and set as below as well. So then when you get done, click Save Changes. So anytime somebody comes to your page, like I said, you now set the static buttons to show up below your content. So they show up down there. That's what it means by below the content. But in the meantime, they'll, it'll at least float so that they can see them as they're scrolling down the page. All right, so let's go into styles here. You can choose, you know, the total counts if you want to use decimals, how you want to align everything. And then you want to make sure floating share buttons is turned on. And you can choose to float them at the bottom of the page, which is what you just saw. Or you can change the background color, which in this case, it's a white background. Uh, so if you wanted to make this, you know, a red or a blue or a black, you'd have to go in and get the color code and paste that in here. But the code for white is just six Fs with a hashtag in front. 
And then social identity. This is if you want to put, you know, your different usernames for your different social media profiles. And then advanced, you can use Frame Buster. You can turn that on. So anybody trying to pirate content, it's going to, you know, bust them and basically not allow it to happen. And then catching method, you don't have to worry about. Just leave it as advanced. And full content versus excerpts, just leave that off as well. So click Save Changes and you've now successfully customized all the settings for social warfare.